Howdy y'all, this is Blueback Texas calling. Welcome to this toolbox how-to video where we're going through two geophysics toolbox tools, the amplitude balancing tool and the resample 3D seismic tool. The amplitude balancing tool enables you to balance the amplitudes from several seismic inputs to a common amplitude range. This is applicable when you want to facilitate easier interpretation of adjacent or overlapping 2D or 3D seismic with different amplitude ranges, or when you want to produce similar signals of seismic attributes when generated from adjacent or overlapping 2D or 3D seismic with different amplitude ranges. The resample 3D seismic tool enables you to merge several seismic cubes into one big cube. This is applicable when you want to facilitate easier seismic interpretation of overlapping or adjacent 3D seismic cubes, or when you want to produce one common attribute cube when generating seismic attributes from overlapping or adjacent 3D seismic cubes. In the live demo, in a second, I will show you a little workflow example where we have three overlapping th seismic cubes. We will first balance the amplitudes between the cubes and then we will merge the balanced output into one big cube. Let's go to Betrayal. Here you see the three seismic cubes that are overlaying. And the first thing we want to do is balance the amplitudes. So I'll go to the Marina menu and find my amplitude balancing tool. So here I will simply drop in my three seismic cubes. And you can see that the tool immediately calculates a root mean square amplitude and then it calculates a target amplitude and you can select to scale to the average, to the median or to a value you set of your own and you can see that the scaling factor is calculated immediately. You can choose to do your balancing over a certain interval if you want to. You can clip the output balanced cubes, so they will have similar min and max values. Then you go ahead and give it a suffix and you simply hit OK. And here you see that the tool produces virtual attributes on the fly. And then for further work, you can go ahead and realize those virtual cubes. I've done that already. You see I've got some balanced realized cubes here and we'll have a look at those so you see when I flip between the balanced and the unbalanced you see that the attributes has been changed to further illustrate that I have displayed the original amplitudes of the three cubes in a histogram that will show up in a second and in this in these three different histograms and the statistics you see that we have very different amplitude distributions. So if I switch to the balanced amplitude cubes, you can now see that we have almost identical distributions of the amplitudes. So now we are ready to merge these three balanced cubes into one big cube. Again, I go to my Marina menu and I find my resample 3D seismic tool. Then I go ahead and simply drop in my balanced realized cubes and I drop them in in the order that I want them to take precedence. So the top cube in the list takes precedence over the next one and so on. I select the interpolation method between the different cubes. I create a new seismic cube from this process. 
and then I need to define the inline and crossline geometry. The tool takes the first input. I can choose I can choose to use the geometry from one of the other surveys if I want to. Then I need to set the interval and uh, sample intervals. I can get that from the lattice definition that we just got here by pressing this button. Then I go ahead, say OK, and the tool is calculating the merged cube that will show up in my input window in a second. I can now display that. And then you can see this was my input. This is my output. Thank you very much for watching.